Hello guys, welcome again to the another After Effects tutorial. Today I come up with a new After Effects tutorial. It's quite interesting and uh, pretty good. So uh, hope you will enjoy the video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel till now, do subscribe my channel. And so let's get started. So uh, let me show you one thing guys that uh, this window will help you but I am typing and clicking. So after opening After Effects, take new compos composition of 1920 by 1080 as usual, name it main and duration would be uh, 6 seconds I think should be fine. Hit OK and uh, bring uh, image from your computer to After Effects and uh, take new composition name as image placeholder 1 hit ok and drag the image into it though you can see that uh, its size uh, does not fit to our composition simply uh, hold ctrl alt shift h and now you can see that uh, it fit to our composition so uh, go to main composition and take new shape layer and go to tools panel and select ellipse tool uh, fill should set to be solid and stroke should set to be none and color uh, choose the color whatever you want to i will choose that color hit ok and uh, draw a circle like this and uh, select the uh, shape layer one for uh, center anchor point select the uh, go to layer select the uh, uh, transform and then hit the uh, center anchor point in layer content align it guys uh, if you don't see this option here align simply go to window and select the align okay now uh, we need to add drop shadow uh, go to effects and presets if you don't see this option here, effects and presets, simply go to video and select the uh, effects and presets and uh, search drop shadow and uh, place it over the uh, shape layer 1. Okay, now direction would be 0 and distance would be 0, 2 and softness uh, would be 200. Okay, now rename it circle one, hit enter. Okay, now guys, uh, we need uh, four more copies. Simply uh, select the circle one and hold control plus G and make uh, four more copies. Now we have five circle. So arrange them and uh, increase its size or arrange it, its size let me show you how uh, first we select the circle 2 and uh, increase their size its size like this and select the circle 3 and increase its size like this select the circle 4 and increase its size 2 like there maybe and uh, select the circle 5 and increase its size to cover whole composition like this okay now we need to arrange them again select the circle 3 select the circle 2 Now uh, you can see that it's looking pretty good. Now guys, uh, select all this shape layer, move forward in time by 4 seconds and 10 frames and hold Alt key and press close bracket. Now you can see that we have uh, cut the remaining. Uh, so uh, select all these and hit S for scale. Move on uh, 
10 frame and add keyframe for scale move back on 0 frame and uh, put its uh, scale value to 0 for all the uh, shape layers select all these keyframes and easy ease them and make graph like this let's zoom it and make graph like this guys uh, if you don't see this uh, graph like this simply right click on it and select the edit speed graph okay now uh, we need to arrange the uh, cube frames uh, by the difference of uh, five frames let me show you how yes we made this now go to uh, 4 second and 10 frame and uh, first we uh, go to uh, 4 seconds yep and add keyframe select all these shape layer and add keyframe now uh, move on uh, 4 second and 10 frame and add keyframe with uh, zero scale value now select all these keyframes and make a graph like this First we zoom it and make graph like this. Okay, now uh, arrange their positions of uh, keyframes. Zoom it again. And we arrange the keyframe by the difference of five frames. Now, cool. Okay, let's see. It's zero for rendering. And let's see. Guys, uh, it's looking cool. So uh, close all the properties for the shape layer and uh, bring image into it and uh, now place uh, go move forward in on, uh, uh, two seconds and alt uh, hold alt key and uh, press the open bracket now move forward on uh, fifth five second oh, oh sorry fifth second and hold alt key and press close bracket now guys select all these uh, layers hit s for scale and uh, add keyframe for uh, scale for image placeholder one on four second and ten frame move back on uh, Three, uh, 3 second and 10 frame and add another keyframe for scale by increasing its, uh, its scale, uh, scale value uh, maybe 130 and hit enter select all the uh, both keyframes easy is them then go to graph editor and change its uh, graph like this ok now guys uh, we need to add text here so simply uh, select the text and pre-compose it text place folder uh, move all the, uh, and uh, select the uh, move all attributes into the new composition hit ok go into it and uh, add text here logo review logo just in capital letters now uh, make duplicate of it by holding ctrl plus 
t and rename it sorry uh, add the text view guys uh, you can choose whatever color you want to but uh, i'm uh, choosing the color uh, light black so increase their size little bit like here Now guys uh, select the logo and uh, go to the tools panel and select the rectangle tool and draw a mask like this. Now go to animate and change and add position. Okay now uh, move forward by one second and add keyframe for position. Move back on zero and change their position like this select all the uh, both keyframes and easy is them go to graph editor and change its graph like this okay now do the same with the uh, second uh, text select the uh, text go to uh, tools panel and select the uh, rectangle tool and draw mask like this Go to its property and select the uh, position. Okay, now uh, move forward by one second. Add keyframe for position. Move back on zero frame, and this time we change its position like there. Okay, now select all uh, both keyframes. Easy is them. Go to graph editor and change its graph like this. Okay, uh, now let's see. Cool. guys it's looking cool uh, we need to change its uh, composition setting simply uh, uh, select hold control plus k and go to composition setting and uh, change its uh, width size and height Like this hit okay go to main composition and uh, adjust the position if you want to okay now uh, it's looking cool to me so uh, we need to take another shape layer and uh, go to tools panel and select the ellipse tool and fill should set to be none and uh, stroke should set to be solid okay now draw a circle like change its color first hit okay draw a circle like this now select the uh, shape layer and go to layers transform and select the center anchor point layer content okay now increase its uh, stroke like maybe 10 and uh, align it into the center and adjust its position like there maybe to cover the uh, border of uh, first circle now drop down its property and go to add and select the trim path Okay, uh, now guys, uh, what we need to do that, simply drop down its uh, trim path property and uh, add keyframe for uh, end and move on uh, zero keyframe, uh, sorry, frame and decrease its end value to zero. Now select uh, all these keyframes and easy is them. Go to graph editor and change its graph like this. 
now guys uh, drag the text layer on uh, 20th frame and uh, drag the shape layer 1 on 1 second and 10th frame select both these layer go to on uh, 5th second hold alt key and press close bracket now hit 0 for rendering and let's see cool guys uh, but uh, we need to change its color image color simply go to uh, effects and presets and uh, search hue and saturation and drag and drop over the image place only one now uh, change its uh, color like maybe yeah cool hit zero and let's see guys uh, it's looking cool to me uh, hope you enjoy the video now it's done and uh, you can choose whatever color you want to an image uh, but I just uh, give you an idea how we create a logo reveal so hope you enjoy the video if you enjoy the video like and subscribe my channel so uh, bye for the next video thanks thank you guys